This is the Inconvenient Truth Podcast with Kala Raji, where we give you the truth, no matter how inconvenient it may be. What's good? It's your King Kala Raji, back again with another podcast. It's the Inconvenient Truth Podcast, where we give you the truth, no matter how inconvenient it may be. All right, Rihanna, let's talk about it. Rihanna talking about, pull up, pull up. Tell your white friends to pull up. So Rihanna was at the NAACP Awards last night and she gave a speech. She basically said to all the black people with white friends who, you know, to see the inequality going on, like do something like every this is, this is the NAACP Awards. She won for something one for just being rihanna i guess you know and to quote she said we can only fix this world together we can't do it divided end quote she was accepting the president's award at the double at the naacp image awards so shout out to rihanna yeah rihanna man my take on this is it's too late like who cares like the first and foremost white people are not gonna show up they're not going to help us out. They don't care. In the back of their mind, they might act like they don't, but in the back of their mind, they really don't care. It's all about a check for them. They see us as a check. They see us as entertaining them, sing for us, dance for us, rap for us, make just entertain us. That's all white people see black people as. You know, at 400 years, the mental slavery is still going on. So it, it's not telling white people. It's we got to tell ourselves. We got to change our mentality the black people, black Americans. But like I said, it's too late. It's too far gone. It's like, even if there's people that are woke and, and helping to fight the good fight or whatever you want to call it, it doesn't make any sense. But it's going to take for everyone. Like I said in my poem, strength in numbers. So everybody has to be on the same page. And we have to change our mindset first. So it starts with you. It's not like you're going to take a couple people and turn them into soldiers right like that. You know, it starts young. It starts when they're babies. It starts the first seven years of the child's life. That's where you have to take them. And men have to be, become more men. There's a lot of men that are not men out there you know we need more alpha males more strong men to take the little boys little children from their mother throw them out in the jungle and say work and say fight and say try to survive you know that's what we need back in the black community because it, that's where it starts they know they know that's what they take the black man out of the black family put him in jail for years now the child's gonna be raised by a bunch of women a bunch of estrogen in the room their grandmother their mother their auntie you know it's not good so it starts with that you have to build the foundation first it starts at the base if the foundation is weak the whole thing will crumble so build up the foundation first well rihanna is saying yeah it's true but Forget them white people. Like, who cares about them? Like, it's not... Yeah, but they, they, they're they a different species. They're not, probably, they're not even from this earth. You know, the things they've done to people is, like, beyond the knowledge. So they don't have soul. They don't have no culture. Literally, what culture is theirs? The Americans in America have no culture. Irish have culture. Italians have culture. Russian have culture. But Americans in America, they have no culture hot dogs and fries what, what what kind of culture is that it's nonsense it's fake hot dogs is fake everything american is fake so the solution is there's no solution the world has to be re re revamped and and and, and destroyed and out of the destruction out of the fire a phoenix will rise so that's my take on that. Shout out to Rihanna. Congratulations on winning the President's Award at the NAACP Image Awards. And continue to do good stuff, you know. Rihanna is the best in the world. She's my favorite artist. She's a queen. She is the the bomb diggity freshness, you know. Rihanna, you are the best. I love you. It's Kala Raji. Peace out. This is the Inconvenient Truth Podcast with Kala Raji, where we give you the truth no matter how inconvenient it may be.